Hello everyone, welcome to this new video about CSS in Cbell Open UI. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to create a new CSS file, how to add it to your application, and what are the uh, capabilities of CSS to style your application. Now, if you look at the home page of this application, you can see that the hyperlinks are colored in blue and uh, similarly the buttons are colored in green so all the colors stylings the box border of the applet everything is coming from a CSS file of our application by default Siebel is providing theme Aurora and theme SUI.CSS files I have uh, loaded the application with theme Aurora and as you see all the styles of the applets the drill downs and everything are coming from theme Aurora.css now I want to make uh, this drill down to red color what I'll do is I'll inspect the element I'll check for the style color so for elements with uh, class drilled on the color is defined as blue in theme Aurora.css so for me to change the color of the particular drilled on I will select the highlighted uh, class from uh, the styles copy it and I'll create a new CSS file I have named it theme new.css so for this drill down class I'm setting color to red now I want the CSS file to load along with our application so what I'll do is I'll add it to my themes I'll go to application administration manifest files view I have already created my CSS entry so I have created my CSS file under files custom so this is where my CSS file new CSS file uh, is located so I have created the CSS I have added it in my ad, uh, manifest files and in manifest administration I'll create a theme entry so we already have a entry for platform dependent theme this is vanilla and you will not be able to edit anything on this this is locked so I made a copy of this platform dependent theme uh, and this is the custom one here I have made the exact replica copy of uh, platform dependent that is provided by vanilla So if uh, my theme is Aurora, it will load theme Aurora.css. If it is uh, Synergy theme SUI, it will uh, it will load theme SUI.css file. By default, when no theme is declared, it will load theme Aurora.css. So this is uh, this I have given it by default. 
so for theme Aurora and for default theme I want to load my custom CSS so I'm going to add the manifest file here so Now the manifest entries are added. I will log out of the application and log back in. So I'm back with our application and I still see that my style is not getting affected. So let's inspect why uh, this color is not getting changed. I'll open Chrome Developer Tools. Let's check whether our file is getting loaded or not. I see that in Files Custom, theme new.css is getting loaded and our style is also declared in the file. So let's inspect this particular element. This is uh, having class drilled on, so we declared her style based on that class so I am filtering uh, by my style so if you look at this theme aurora.css has color blue declared and theme new.css has color red declared but theme blue uh, theme aurora has extra argument saying that color is this color is important this rule is important so that means according to uh, I mean from CSS this will take as precedence and this rule will get applied and this rule will be ignored so we'll make our rule important and uh, now we are saying this is also important but still my color is not getting changed and this rule is again getting overridden so in this case you have the same selector the CS same CSS selector in both files and both are important but still your style is getting not getting reflected so uh, in in this kind of cases when there are more selectors uh, that rule will get applied so we know that uh, the class is drilled on for this element and this is a anchor element a so we'll add one more selector a dot drilled on so for all anchor elements with class drilled on, you, we are making color red and immediately you can see that the color is getting reflected. Here, if you uh, inspect the element again, you see that we have two selectors. We are selecting anchor tag and we are selecting the class. So the other rule which selects only the class is getting overridden in this case. So we have the style ready. I'll uh, make this change into the into our theme file. So as you can see, all the drill downs are changed to red color. This is just an example. We can style our application as required. We can hide elements. We can make elements float to right or left. We can create borders to elements. We can uh, make font styles. For example, I see that these uh, table headers are very light. So I inspect this element. So 
the table this is the table header and uh, I check the color of the table header it is lighter shade of gray I can make it darker okay. I can make it a dark blue color I can uh, make it bold you can see that the changes are getting reflected immediately so similarly we can uh, make this hide few of the elements that we don't want you can just say hide display none so immediately it is getting hidden you can see you can see the difference here so we we have to select the particular element that we want to style and uh, the element along with the style needs to be declared in our new CSS file. CSS is static, so it is not based on an event. So based on some condition you want to hide it. Um, it can be done from JavaScript, but it can't be done using uh, CSS. But through JavaScript you can modify the classes and IDs of the uh, HTML elements and uh, f for the, the particular classes and IDs you can declare different styles in the CSS which immediately get reflected for example this is disabled and based on some condition it is getting enabled so when uh, the button uh, when the toolbar item is enabled you can add one more class to the a toolbar item to make it uh, um, available for the CSS to make style changes so uh, if you are new to CSS you can find all the answers to your questions on Google you can just search saying hide an element with CSS um, float an element to left or right using CSS, border in CSS, color in CSS, background color, um, text alignment, everything you you can find all your uh, queries answered in Google. So if you are new to CSS, start exploring. Thank you.